Welcome to today's part of this SPSS methodology. This time with a unit on the Mann-Whitney U test. The Mann-Whitney U test can be understood as like the ordinal version of the T test. So what we are going to do here is compare two independent samples where the underlying variables are ordinal in nature. So what we are going here for uh, in particular is we are considering our classified BMI variable and we want to test whether this is different for men and for women. So I have two different groups, two independent samples, the men and women. I want to test whether this ordinal variable differs across those two groups. How are we going to do this? Well, we go to analyze, then because this is a non-parametric test, we could either go here with independent samples or with the older versions, with the legacy dialogues, with two independent samples. So let's start with the older version, two independent samples. Then we see down here the standard, the default already is the man whitney u test. So we put as a test variable our classified BMI up here and our gender variable down here. Before we can actually click OK, we, as with the t-test, first need to define the two groups to be compared. So it's the man with the zero and the women with the one. Click continue and OK. And this is the result from our u-test. So this means we have a significance level of zero, which is smaller than 5%. So we can select our H0, our null hypothesis. And this means there is a significant difference across the two groups, the two samples we observed. So men, according to the classified BMI, are significantly different from women. Okay, so far so good. Let's then try the same thing, but with the newer dialogues. So again, Let's go to Analyze, Non-Parametric Tests, here then Independent Samples, click on Field, and as a test field we select our Classified BMI, and as Groups we select our Gender Variable. Then we go to Settings, and can select here with Customized Tests, our Man Whitney U test. Click on Run. We see here we get the exact same results as before. Distribution of BMI classified is the same across the categories of gender. As the significance level is below 5%, he tells us here reject the null hypothesis. So the distribution of BMI is not the same across the categories of gender. So in this context we can conclude men and women are significantly different regarding their classified BMIs. Well, this then already concludes this session on the Man whitney u test. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. And if you're looking for more videos of this type, feel free to visit the rest of this SPSS methodology. Until then, see you and goodbye.